Good morning, Panthers. Today is Friday, September 25th, 2020. Please join me for a few moments of morning prayer and reflection. Today's reading from the book of Sirach tells us more about creation. God filled the earth with human beings in God's own image. He created humans with strength, with knowledge, and with understanding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Listen to me, my child, and acquire knowledge, and pay close attention to my words. When the Lord created his works from the beginning, he arranged his works in an eternal order. Then the Lord looked upon the earth and filled it with good things. The Lord created human beings out of earth. He endowed them with strength like his own and made them in his own image. Discretion and tongue and eyes, ears, and a mind for thinking he gave them. He filled them with knowledge and understanding and showed them good and evil. And they will praise God's holy name to proclaim the grandeur of his works. Their eyes saw his glorious majesty and their ears heard the glory of his voice. The word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. How can we respect the dignity of life? Holy God, help us to respect all life, for we are made wonderfully in your own image. Help us to bring life to others, that we may all live in happiness and peace. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panthers, this morning's reading I, really speaks to me. I think so often we think of life as just not hurting living things physically um, or hurting other people physically, but we can also help uh, respect one another's spiritual life by using kind words and taking care of one another's emotional and spiritual life as well. So please keep that in mind today as you interact with your classmates and your teachers and everyone at home. This morning, our flag comes to us. I believe this is Maria's from last year. So thank you, Maria. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We do have uh, some birthdays to announce today. Not, not today, a happy unbirthday to everyone today, but weekend birthdays. Tomorrow, September 26, we have three, Caleb Shalstrom in sixth grade, Oliver Murphy in first grade, and Corbin Shoemaker in fourth grade. Happy birthday. And Sunday, September 27th, we wish Alyssa Fernandez a very happy birthday in third grade. All right, Panthers, today is World Dream Day. So maybe you had a dream last night. If you have free time to write in class, that might be something to write about, a dream that you've had. Um, this week, we also were focusing on the leadership virtue of integrity. And our very own patron saint, St. Anthony, sums up integrity very well. Let your words teach and your actions speak. So do what you say you're going to do and let your actions reflect what you feel and what you believe. Before we sign off to start our Friday, please join me in reciting our St. Anthony Faith Pledge. We, the students and faculty of St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, vow to be Christ's light for the world. May our eyes see Christ in one another. May our mouths speak words of love and kindness. May our ears listen for ways to serve. May our hands reach out to help. May our feet walk closely with Jesus so that we may live in his light. Jesus, light for our world, shine in us and through us. Have a great day, Panthers and St. Anthony de Padua. Pray for us. <laughs>